Hi, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unique Converter, and in this video I will show you how to add subtitles to a video in DaVinci Resolve 17, and then another way that will show you hours from the process. Let's get started. Creating subtitles takes a lot of time. Literally, sometimes I feel like it will never end. Lots of transcribing and then adjusting the subtitles to the timeline. Ugh, I, I really hate it. Now, a very popular editing software that people use is DaVinci Resolve 17. Probably one of the main reasons is that the light version of it is completely free and it's available on Windows and Mac as well. And maybe another reason is that its studio version is the industry standards for color grading. But guess what? Adding subtitles still takes a lot of time even in DaVinci Resolve. There are multiple ways to add subtitles to a video in Resolve. One way is going into titles and using one of the lower third presets. Another one is the basic text preset, but either way, you'll have to drag both onto the timeline and then type the text and adjust the length manually for each. But you'd always have to duplicate the title because otherwise your style setting will be lost. A more professional way is choosing the subtitle from the titles, which will create a separate subtitle track on the timeline, and here you can edit the style for example collectively. Which obviously means that you don't have to set the style for each subtitle element. And if you use the subtitle feature in DaVinci Resolve, you can also export it separately if you don't want to burn it on the video. But in both cases, the basic style preset or the subtitle feature, you will have to transcribe everything and type in everything manually, which is still really annoying. Now, luckily for us, technology granted us tools that will do this process automatically, the entire thing in just a few seconds. So if you want to save hours from your time, what you're going to have to do is download the Wondershare Yumi Converter. Search for it in Google or the links are in the description. If you have the Uniconverter opened up, on the left side panel, choose the toolbox and then within the toolbox, the subtitle editor. Import the video you want to create subtitles for. If the subtitle editor is opened up, you're going to have to click on the auto subtitles function. Here you can select the language that is spoken in the video and then click on start now. So what this tool is gonna do is transcribe the video and then adjust the subtitle pieces onto the timeline automatically. When it's done, click OK and then as you can see, it transcribed the entire video and then adjusted the little text pieces onto the timeline. Now, if the Wondershare Uniconverter wasn't accurate in recognizing every word, like my name for example, you can just correct that manually and go through the video and check if everything is alright. But the Wondershare Uniconverter is pretty accurate in recognizing English. If for example you don't need some subtitle parts in the video, for example here where there is already text in the video, you can just click on it and then click on the trash icon to delete it. If you click on one of the subtitle pieces and then click on styles, you can add a custom style to your subtitles. Here you can select the fonts. Let's go with this one. It's pretty peculiar. You can select size. You can make it smaller or you can make it large. You can also select a color, of course. You can add an outline. If you don't need one, just set it to zero. You can play around with transparency. And of course, you can position it on the video. And you can use this little toggle here to fine tune the position. If you don't need your background, just select the transparency to 100%. Or if you want a different color, just set one from the presets. 
And the best thing is that if you want to apply the same style to every subtitle pieces, then you can just click apply to all and then all of your subtitles will have the same exact style. Now if you're done editing your subtitles, you can select an output folder down here. I'm gonna go with same as source folder and then just click save. Here you can save it as an mp4 file. In this case, the subtitle will be burned in in the video. If you have the SRT file selected, it will save it as a separate SRT file and you can also save the project file. You can do it both three simultaneously or just select whichever one you want. Now I want to burn it into the video so I'm gonna select mp4 and then I'm just gonna click save. And once it's finished you'll have a video with a burnt in subtitle. And that's it. Much much easier than doing everything manually. And if you don't agree with me, just let me know in the comment section. But that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more how-to videos like this one. Make sure to turn on the notifications so you never miss a new upload on this channel. With that being said, thank you so much for watching again and I'm going to see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,